Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if this is your first time here, hi, hello, my name is Helen. I am so glad you could join me today. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at what I received in August from Ipsy. I am super excited to see what we have here. Um, I do have my regular glam bag, and then I also have the Glam Bag X that we're going to be taking a look at today. Super excited. I really like the Glam Bag Xs. I think they have a lot of really great products in them, so I cannot wait to see what we have here this month. But before we get started, if you love all things the makeup, beauty, and fashion, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I post new content on Wednesdays and Sundays, and I would love if you would join my family. And without further ado, roll that intro. Alright guys, we are going to jump right into what I received in July. I keep saying July. I skipped July because I wasn't here in July. We're going to be taking a look at what I received in August from Ipsy. We're going to jump right into the um, regular glam bag first and then we're going to go from there. All right, so here is the bag from August. It is um, a cute enough bag. It's kind of simple, kind of plain. Nothing, you know, super exciting, but it does have the Ipsy down here. And let's see what we have inside. We'll start with the card. So the theme for the month of August is Wanderlust. Uh, recharge, reset, and go off the grid. Discover rare new ingredients go well with manis. Try techniques that soothe your skin and your mind. Your greatest adventure starts with you. And this is what the card looks like for the month. And let's take a look at what we have in here. So the first thing we have is Dragon's Blood uh, Sculpting Gel by Rodial. I think I've received stuff from them in other boxes, even in Ipsy um, and um, what is it called? BoxyCharm. <laughs> so both Ipsy and BoxyCharm I have received these before, um, but this is what it looks like. And let's see if it says anything in the card here. So this is Refresh and Revive Your Skin with this innovative anti-aging treatment. It uses a blend of plumping, plumping collagen, plant-based moisturizers, and moisturizing glycerin to smooth, firm, and tighten skin with continued use. Um, it says tip morning and night, gently massage into the clean skin and allow it to absorb. This um, is a deluxe sample. Oh my, the MSRP of a full-size version of this is $108. So that's expensive and I'm now very interested to see how this works um, and if it would be worth that $108. It probably wouldn't be for me just because I get enough skincare as it is so um, the chance of me actually going out and purposely buying skincare is pretty limited. I'm pretty set with all of my subscription boxes but that is interesting. Very expensive. All right, next up in here, we have, looks like a lip gloss, liquid lip, oh, matte liquid lip, so maybe a lipstick. This is by M2UNYC, and this is what it looks like. Actually, a pretty nice shade. Let's say the color, Soho. So in the shade, Soho. So this says, you know that tight and dry feeling some liquid lipsticks leave behind. That never happens with this creamy formula. It's lightweight, non-chalky, non-drying, and feels comfy for hours. Oh, and the blush pink color, a total stunner. Uh, apply a thin layer to lips for medium coverage. Add a second for more drama. MSRP of the full size of this is $7. This is a deluxe sample. Oh, it has a nice scent to it. It is a very pretty color. This is what it looks like. Very nice. All right, I am looking forward to trying this. I like a matte lipstick, um, and I like a matte lipstick that isn't super drying, so I'm interested to see if that actually lives up to what they say. All right, next up we have Ciate Lundi, Lundi. <laughs> Ciate London Wonder Wand Mascara Sample. This is what that looks like. And it says here, um, Lengthening, volumizing, curling, and defining, this multitasking mascara literally does it all. Its superpower lies in an hourglass shaped wand that coats every single lash uh, in rich carbon black color that lifts them for up to 24 hours. The MSRP of the full size version of this is $22, and this is a deluxe sample. All right, we have two more items here. First up, we have Elemen Beauty. This is Eden and Shallow Eyeshadow Duo. 
I don't know if I actually picked anything this month. I think I just let Ipsy pick for me. I'm not sure. I don't remember, to be honest. Um, but this is the eyeshadow duo. Uh, it's pretty enough. I don't, I don't think that sparkly blue shade is something that I would normally go for. It says here, pro quality, ultra wearable, highly pigmented, and easy to blend. There's so much to love about this duo of taupe matte and seafoam green shimmer eyeshadows. Wear them alone or layer them together to create an array of stunning eye looks. The, um, this is a deluxe sample. The full size version is $42 of this product. All right, and one last thing we have here. We have the Pure 4-in-1 Mineral Powder Foundation SPF 15 in Light. Maybe I did pick this. Otherwise, I'm not sure that they would know what shade to pick for me. Um, when you need a full glow up in five, this pressed powder from Pure will make your morning makeup routine fast and easy. It functions as a foundation, concealer, powder, and SPF all in one, and gets your skin hydrated and healthy without moisture with moisturizing, shea butter, and vitamin E. The full size version of this is $29.50. Um, I'm actually interested in trying this out. I just recently got the Bare Minerals um, uh, Mineral Powder Foundation and it does a good enough job. It's not like the my favorite powder foundation I've ever used, but I'm interested in this pressed one to see if it's any better. All right, that is it for the base uh, glam bag. Now we're gonna take a look in the exciting glam bag X. Also, this is that lipstick. It's now dried matte. It is a very pretty shade and there is no um, transfer. So I would say that's that's pretty good. I really do like the color. It's actually pretty similar to the color I'm wearing, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl, um, which is my favorite lipstick. I actually just recorded a Charlotte Tilbury uh, mystery box slash look. I'm not sure if that video is going out before this one, but if it isn't it's coming up soon all right so here is the glam bag x which is kind of silly that they call it a glam bag x when it's literally a box but that's okay all right there's there's a lot in here there's a lot in here all right first off we have our little newspaper um and it looks like this month halsey was the curator of this box so I'm interested to see what is in here. I think she does About Face. Um, that's her makeup brand. And I I got the About Face. There was like a liquid lip in there that was stunning. I love that liquid lip. And that actually reminds me I need to pull it out for my lipsticks now that fall is coming up. Because um, I want that to be like my regular go-to color. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure she does About Face. I'm probably, I, I don't know that I'm gonna go through their, maybe I will. We'll see what I have in here and I might go through if there's, um, cause they kind of break down some of the items. So I might read about them as we go. We'll see. Um, I remember last time there were, weren't a lot of matches in mine. Okay, so first, things first. Now this I am pretty sure I did pick um, a couple things for this one. So the first one is one that I for sure picked. It's the Laneige Sleeping Care Lip Sleeping Mask in Apple Lime. I love the Laneige Sleeping um, Lip Mask. I don't, I think it's just their original. It almost has like a berry scent to it. It's very subtle, very pretty, and it just feels really good on the lips. But this is the Green Apple Mint. I may have just, uh, yeah, I just made that title up. It is apple lime. There's, it's not green apple and there's no mint. It's apple lime. Um, but this is what the packaging looks like. Uh, let's see if they have any information. So yep, it has um, a $22 MSRP. Thanks to Moisture App technology, you'll nix cracks, flakes, and dryness all while you sleep. So that's all it really says about this one. I'm gonna open it up and smell it. Oh, cute. This actually comes with a little applicator. I don't think my the one I got that was the original, I don't think it came with this little applicator. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. It's like this little silicone applicator. Aw, I love it. It feels really nice and squishy. I like it. 
Um, okay, here is the actual lip balm. Oh, it smells wonderful. This is going to be really nice to add to my lip balm collection. Oh, perfect. I can't wait to try it out. All right, next up we have something from Herbivore. This is Emerald Hemp Seed Adaptogens Deep Moisture Glow Oil. This is what the packaging looks like. And I don't think I picked this one. Let's see if it exists in the breakdown. Oh, it does, okay. So it says a few drops are like a warm hug for your skin. It calms, soothes, nourishes, moisturizes, and even protects from environmental aggressors. You can thank the hemp seed oil, a squal squalene, turmeric, root, and ashwagandha for those benefits. Um, let's see, it has an MSRP of $48. Oh, and the bottle is very pretty. So this is what it looks like. It has this really nice color to it. Uh, it says spend a few minutes working this oil, working in this oil for a relaxing facial massage before bed. That actually sounds kind of nice. I might, I might try that um, at night, just kind of as like a nightly ritual. Put this on after I've like washed my face and everything, um, and like when I'm doing like my lip balm and everything. That actually sounds really nice. All right, next up we have the. Tarte High Performance Naturals Clay Pot Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner. And this is in shade Rose Gold. I'm pretty sure this is something that I chose uh, for the month. Oh, it's very pretty. This is what it looks like. And I don't know if it'll be in here. It is. Uh, let's see. Not only is this gel cream a multitasker, use it as a liner or shadow, but it's also waterproof. And it has an MSRP of $21. I'm actually going to put a little swatch on my hand. Oh, this would make a very pretty eyeshadow. I don't know that I would really have much use for it as a liner, but as a shadow, it's a very pretty. It has like just enough sparkle. Um, We'll see how that dries because it is very buttery, very creamy. All right, next up we have, oh, we have something from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Reshape Resize Lip Liner. Um, that's super awesome. I, like I said, I did just do a Charlotte Tilbury video. Um, so now I have a lip liner to go with my other um, items I got. I didn't get an actual lipstick in that box, but um, I already have the Pillow Talk lipstick and the Bond Girl lipstick, so now I have a lip liner to use as well. So that is awesome. Um, does it say in here anything about it? MSRP of $22 for that lip liner. Uh, this lip pencil was made to define, reshape, resize, or use all over as the perfect nude lip. And I do really like her, their lip stuff. Their lip stuff is awesome. All right, next up we have a mascara from Fenty Beauty. This is the Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. This is what the packaging looks like. Is that upside down? It was. This is what the packaging looks like. Um, I really like Fenty Beauty products. I don't know that I'm gonna keep this mascara for myself. This might be going into the future giveaway pile only because I recently received like two or three new mascaras and I I don't need another one. Um, so this has an MSRP of $24 and it says, whether you're performing on stage like Halsey or giving a presentation on Zoom, this mascara has got you covered. The innovative brush lifts, curls, defines, and separates for a dramatic lash look that won't smudge or smear for hours. So um, I'm gonna put this in future giveaway. And I uh, I don't even know, have I maybe received this before? I can't. I can't remember. It's going in future giveaway. All right, we have three more items. This is always such a big box. Um, the next one we have is from the New Co. This is a topical microbiome repair the skin barrier topical skin supplement. It's a barrier culture cleanser, pre and pro and postbiotics, deep cleaning and anti-strip. That is a mouthful. <laughs> this is what it looks like. This is an MSRP of $42. 
Um, let's see. The One Skincare Step Halsey Never Skips. A good cleanse at the end of the day. This two-in-one formula removes makeup and gently cleanses without stripping your skin. Uh, thanks to a blend of prebiotics, probiotics, and postbiotics. That actually sounds actually nice. Uh, it's just a cleanser, but it does makeup and normal cleaning. Normally I do a double step. I'll do an oil cleanser and then a normal cleanser, but this is supposed to be both in one. So I am interested to try this out. I'm going to try this out tonight. I'll do this and then I'll do the oil afterwards before bed. That sounds really nice. All right, we have two more items. Next up here, we have the um, Ather Beauty Moonlight Crystal Palette. This is an eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. Uh, this has an MSRP of $58. It says, what do you get when you combine vegan ingredients, sustainable packaging, and crystal infused powders? This epic Halsey is exclusive palette mix and match the shadows to create your perfect shimmery eye look let's see what this looks like oh there was a little card that just fell out the packaging is very cool very pretty kind of has like this 3d effect to it oh wow this is nice oh it says here we've removed the mirror and magnets inside to be more sustainable we strive to make the best sustainable choices in all of our products and let's be real you probably be using this palette in front of a mirror anyway by removing the mirror and magnets it becomes fully recyclable and we are saving this palette from going directly to the landfill it's a win-win for both you and our mother earth thank you for your love and understanding that's awesome here is what the shadow palette looks like so very pretty um i I don't know that these are necessarily colors I would normally go for. Plus I have a lot of similar palettes. I think this would be really nice to do in a future giveaway. Um, it's very pretty. I picked up the card I, I dropped. It's very pretty and it has this really nice card in it. Like the High Priestess, be unquestioning of your knowledge and power. This is super cool. I love the imaging on here. So we're going to do this in a future giveaway as well. I just, I have so many eyeshadow palettes. I don't need necessarily more of stuff I already kind of have. All right, last but certainly not least, we have something from About Face. I am not surprised about that one. This is the Light Lock Highlight Fluid. This is what the packaging looks like. Um, this has an MSRP of $32. Leave it to Halsey to create a highlighter that is as versatile as you. The shimmery gold liquid can be used three ways. An illuminating base, an intense highlighter, or a glow booster in your foundation. Add a few drops to your body moisturizer for a fire glow all over. Um, if you've been around for a while, you probably know highlighters aren't like necessarily my favorite thing. I did just get one from Charlotte Tilbury that I love. I'm wearing it right now and it just creates the most subtle, beautiful glow. Um, so I, I, I don't really want to because this is really pretty and I do like um, About Face. But I think this is also going to go in future giveaway. Um, I'm not even going to open it because it has really cool like open, like package opening things. So I'm just, I'm going to put this in future giveaway. I'm sure you guys won't mind because one of you might win it. So, all right, that is it for August Ipsy. It was a, it was a pretty good month. I feel like the Glam Xbox, as usual, had a lot of really cool things in it. Um, things that I will definitely be getting some use out of. There wasn't anything in particular that I was just like not happy to get. The things that went into um, giveaway weren't because I didn't want them. It was more like I already had too many of those things. Um, I, I don't know, I think it was a pretty good month. The regular glam bag was kind of not that exciting. Um, it, there wasn't anything bad. I think, I think I'm gonna really like this lipstick. Um, and that uh, Tarte shadow liner, uh, it has dried and it has, it's not, not transferring at all. So I think that's gonna actually be a really nice shadow. Um, but yeah, this was, it was a pretty good month. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out so much when you do so. I can't wait to see what I get in September. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.